Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad. Recently, I filmed a video arguing that taking CPP at 65 is the worst possible option. And boy, did you have lots to say about it. And we read all those comments and a few of them gave us ideas for other videos that we could talk about different topics. And that's what today's video is. Before I start though, please, if you're new to the channel, we'd love if you subscribed. Uh, hit the like button, comment below. We do read all the comments and it helps us create ideas like today's video. So today's video is all about how delaying CPP affects GIS. So let's get into it. All right, in that video that I mentioned earlier, I went through a whole series of different charts, including this one, where essentially I just ended up finding the cumulative income that you would have received at different start dates for CPP. I go a lot further into detail in that video. It'll be linked above. So my argument there is essentially that if you delay to 70, it's the most cumulative income to you and taking it at 65 really never benefits uh, you as the best overall option. Some of you commented though, what about GIS? And so that's again, what this video is all about. So here's what I did. I created a new chart. And so now we're just looking at the same data from the previous chart, but starting at age 60, 65, and 70. And I just picked those three years because that's usually the three that people are choosing between when it comes to taking CPP. I had to make a couple of assumptions, of course, in this video. I assume that uh, you are receiving the maximum eligibility for GIS uh, and that you're single in this case. And again, I'm not factoring in uh, things like inflation or increases to GIS, because I can't tell what that will be in the future. And we are working on a CPP uh, inflation tested um, video as we speak. All right, so let's actually get to the numbers. So this is a good time to also remind you that in order to receive GIS or guaranteed income supplement, you do have to be receiving OAS. And to receive OAS, you have to be 65. So that's why the, the numbers are blank here for a little bit. So if you started CPP at age 60, in this example, you'd be receiving $7,680 per year from CPP. Now, another reminder with GIS, if you're earning income beyond old age security, that's taxable, that is, uh, it actually reduces the amount of GIS you can receive. So there's tables online. This is just the Government of Canada's website. I go here, find $7,680 as the income threshold. And that means the maximum GIS uh, that you could receive is $605.45. That's where this number came from. So a couple of things that start to emerge, right? Obviously, if you delay CPP to 70, your GIS will be maximized in the first number of years because you will not be receiving any other income source in this example. And so this is how the numbers would break down. If you had started at 65, you'd be receiving 7,680 of CPP. You would start receiving 7,265.40 from GIS. If you started your CPP at 65 in this example, the threshold pushes your GIS down even further. And then if you delayed your CPP to age 70, you'd receive the full GIS for a number of years, but it would take a pretty significant drop down to 171.82 after you turn 70 and your CPP started uh, to accumulate. So that's how the income would work year to year, but let's take it a step further. The next thing is I did was I have GIS payments, assuming the max GIS cumulative. So now here, just like in my previous video, I'm highlighting the highest cumulative income to see what is the best overall option. And here's where something interesting starts to emerge, right? Obviously, uh, taking GIS with a 70 delayed CPP means you get the most GIS up front. We talked about that already because you would have no other income sources from 65 to 70, so you'd receive a lot more money there. Eventually, uh, the larger GIS starts to surpass that. And interestingly, just like in my CPP video from a few months back, Taking CPP at 65, once again, is never the best overall option, which I find fascinating. But we have to take this one step further. Okay, the final step we're taking here is we are finding the cumulative income between the two 
government benefits. And a reminder, in this scenario, the only income sources you have are OAS, CPP, and GIS. And because OAS is going to be consistent across all three, and we're comparing the relationship that CPP and GIS have, it's just CPP and GIS in this chart. Now, I've hidden the rest of the cells here just so it all fit on the screen. But this is the cumulative income of CPP plus GIS. And again, some interesting things start to emerge. So it makes sense that the early years have the highest cumulative income. That's why they're highlighted in blue. And eventually, when you're getting to around age 83, the cumulative income of taking CPP at 70 in com combination with your GIS takes over as the largest cumulative amount of income. And it maintains that all the way through. This is pretty much exactly where CPP breaks even, 65 to uh, 70 as well. So that you can see that all of these programs are designed to work in conjunction. Oof. So you can see that all of these programs are designed to work in conjunction to have a break even in your early to mid 80s. Once again, you also see that Taking CPP at 65 is never the best option. So this, this pattern continues to emerge, showing that delaying CPP really does make sense. Now, of course, everybody's situation is unique. You have a different level of assets, health concerns, life expectancy than everybody else that I'm talking to. So if it's time for you to review your unique situation, it means it's time for your K4 financial plan. And as we come up on the one-year anniversary of the $500 financial plan at K4, Kent and I have been busy reviewing what we've learned over the last year. And one of the things we've learned is that it is time for us to adjust our pricing to the demand that we've been seeing. The announcements will come out soon in the coming weeks, but as of November 1 of this year, our pricing will be changing, but we will be continuing to honor the $500 financial plan or $750 for couples until the end of October this year. So if that is uh, something that's been holding you back, it might be time to act now as well. And you can reach out to the email here uh, below or of course through our website. Thank you very much for watching. Please again, like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep on it.